Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix OneDrive sync issues on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reset the app. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now in here under the app list just click on the search apps box and simply type OneDrive. As you can see you have two apps that were found, but make sure to choose the one that has the blue icon. So click on the ellipses next to it and select advanced options. Now in here scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by clicking on the repair button. In this case the app's data won't be affected at all. But if this step doesn't prove too useful you can also reset the application by clicking on the reset button. In this case the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. Now you can just close the settings window, restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to add OneDrive to the Windows Defender Firewall whitelist. To do this press the Windows button then simply type Firewall and select Windows Firewall from the search results. In here on the left pane make sure to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now in here all the allowed apps and features settings are greyed out, so to change the settings just click on the Change Settings button. And the last thing you have to do in here is to tick the boxes next to OneDrive under private and public categories. Now you can just press on the OK button to save the changes, restart your PC and check if the issue is solved. Another useful solution is to turn off proxy server via settings. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on network and internet on the left pane. Now on the right side scroll down until you locate and select the proxy category and under the manual proxy setup section make sure to click on the setup button next to use a proxy server. All you have to do now is simply turn off this proxy server setting. So if it's turned on just turn it off. Now you can just click on the save button, close this setting window and restart your PC. Another useful solution is to revert to the default DNS. To do this press the Windows button then simply type control panel and select it from the search results. Now in here make sure to click on the drop down menu next to view by and select the category option. The next thing you have to do is select network and internet and in this new window just go to the network and sharing center. Now on the left pane make sure to click on the hyperlink that says change adapter settings and then simply right click on the Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection that you have and select the properties option. Now scroll down until you find the internet protocol version 4 and double click on it to open its settings window. And in here the last thing you have to do is tick the box next to obtain an IP address automatically to both of these options. Lastly just click on OK to save the changes, again OK to close this properties window Close all your windows and restart your computer. You can then check if the problem still persists. And the last solution that works properly as well is to reset the OneDrive app with the command prompt. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below and then press on enter. Now once you've run the command you can restart your PC and you should no longer have any problems. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.